least I haven't died as a, as a result of gunshot wounds yet. I'm sure there'll be plenty of occasions when that happens. Oh, I want that. Oh. Okay, this is a pretty powerful gun. Is there not shoulder switching? There's no shoulder switching. That's interesting. Hmm. I'm not sure why they why that's no longer something that we can do. Unless there's another button for it. Okay, so we can switch weapons like this, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't switch shoulders. Let me know if I'm wrong. Let's blow that up. Go and make use of the set pieces hey, when there's possible. A ladder. Come on, hurry up! Yeah, this gun is nice. Thank God somebody had it. So I don't think Marlow has anything that we want now. We've deciphered what we need to decipher. I think that's it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, hopefully I can get a few more people with the last bullets. They're gone again. So, it seems like Sully and Cutter are affected when they're shooting the guys with the lasers. They seem to be able to take them out fairly easily. I think I have to switch now. Yes. Ah. I could help. I swear there was more than one person that had it. Is there a radio station called North Atwood? Well, I guess it is abandoned. Maybe it used to exist. What? I'm pretty sure why that guy recoiled and took a shot in the face. These guys don't enjoy dying at all. Alright, let's, let's just rush this guy. No one has... Okay, none of them had submachine guns apart from this guy. Shit. Nice. So they all seem to be the same type of enemy, they just have slightly different guns at the moment. Oh. Okay, the range obviously is terrible. That's why I don't like to use shotguns in these kind of games. You really have to go right into their face to be able to... Shit, there's a lot of them. I hate it when instead of trying to take cover, Okay, it's kind of effective. They really don't show much of their faces when they're... Look at that. And Cut is blocking me as well. Really not finding it. I was gonna say I'm really not finding it easy to get headshots, but I seem to have 20. 
you pussy no. ass bitch. There you go. That's what you get. Whoa. Let's keep going. I don't need to fight. Them. Up here, hurry! They are right on our tail. Can I not shoot it? Oh shit. It, I swear it didn't give me the option to shoot the lock before. Are you gonna shoot the lock or am I? Back up, back up! What the hell? There's two of you with guns, what the fuck? Come on guys, seriously. I know I know they want Nate to do everything, but that that makes no sense. And the guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D's signature. Who the hell's John D? John D, one of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time, he's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia? Yeah, it looks that way. Dee and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia. Great film. He was an archeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the crusades. And he traveled all over documenting every crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names, Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe was after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Oh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we gonna get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? It's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? 
What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> Into the line, I guess. Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Not too far. <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or 20. Like that time you got us lost in Peru. Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? I always get you out. So, okay, I said Nate was 12. I kind of just made made that number up. He was 14 when he met Sully. But this is like the beginning of uh, Uncharted 1. It really reminds me of the first kind of stroll that we take with with uh, with Sully. But yeah, like you said, rely on Nate to, to find a jungle in France. And in order to find a lost city in Arabia, we have to visit both France and Syria. So they really know how to... How to create a big story. Come on, through here. There it is. Just like in Lawrence's notes. Gotta have more faith in me, Sully. <laughs> of course, I don't remember this ravine being on the map. Ah, they must have just put that in. Alright. <laughs> Come on, we'll find another way around. Oh, look at that conveniently placed log. So it looks like obviously someone else has wanted to access this uh chateau so for me the question now is how and when is Marlowe and Talbot going to find out what's going on is someone going to betray us or are they going to somehow track us down because I see no reason for there to be any enemies hey, around here is that a pan flute is there any point in me going around here this way Watch your step. Sorry about that, just got a phone call. I don't know, kid. You sure we're in the right place? This doesn't seem old enough to be a crusader castle. It's more like renaissance. You haven't been reading my books again, have you, Sully? <laughs> now, Lawrence <laughs> says the original castle was built in the 11th century. The rest was added on later. Ah! To be honest, I actually don't really know anything about Lawrence of Arabia. TC Lawrence. Ooh. Might have to do some. Oh, reading. this looks sketchy. <laughs> Come on. Every time. There does not have to be a shaky moment every single time we use something like that. Ah, what are you waiting for? I loosened it up for you. Yeah, that's the problem. So what we're experiencing here is vintage uncharted. Just Nate and Sully in the jungle. Look, Sully, your first car. <laughs> oh, man, that's a 1927 Auburn. There you go. Um, yeah, I'm jumping down. Yeah? What's this, Mr. Wizard? Lawn art. Pretty taggy. <laughs> now, the knight who owned this castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. Now, according to Lawrence, all that's left of the original castle is the square keep and the gardens. If Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia, that's where we're going to find him. Hmm. Certainly was impressive back in the day. Try this door. Ah. It's no good. Not getting in this way. Hmm. I wonder which way we're going to have to get in. Look at all of these things here. Okay, break over. Let's uh, continue with our exploration of the chateau. One thing I noticed is actually um, this game is running at 60 FPS, so it's uh, 
maybe that's why the the aiming is a little bit different for me because I'm because I got used to the the 30 FPS of of the other games, so it's a little bit more responsive. Yes, I bet I can climb up through that hole. I bet you can. Let me guess, you're gonna sit tight, smoke a cigar again. Yeah. All right, don't burn the place down. All right, let's see what clues we're gonna find inside here. I think they had the pipe there as cover, just in case you can make it to the ledge. What about that window above you? I don't want to cut myself. Wow. Nate actually thinking about his safety. Come on, I'm pushing the analog stick. There you go. All right, nice going, kid. Be right back. Right. Let's make our way down. Yep, certainly looks abandoned. I mean, if this is the only way in, it looks like it hasn't been made use of too often. Oh, crap. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, he probably has like a... Hey, kid, up here. It's chained shut. All right, back up. I'll shoot the lock off. Make sure that's the only thing you shoot off. I said lock. <laughs> I think Nate has like a, a metal plate in his back or something. The amount of times he's fallen really hard on his back and walked away. But, stupid question, but where's the door? Is it... Because the voice sounded like it came from really close, so I thought I was, I was there. It's not that. Okay, I had a little look around the room to see if I could find anything of interest, and I couldn't. And of course, because I wasn't paying attention to the conversation, I thought it was a door that I needed to unlock. In you come, old man. You good? Okay. We've got to make our way through the chateau to the gardens. That's where we'll find the old keep. Okay, he's probably going to have to help me move this, surely. Oh man, look at this place. No? Are we not going to push together? No. Can't get it open. This damn beam's in the way. Yeah, we got to get some leverage. Ugh. Think you can get up there? I can try. I mean, we have seen this man move huge boulders, but that beam was a bit too much for him. <sighs> um, how am I getting up there? Hey, help me lift this up. Okay. There we go. Do it. Be careful up there. Old damn thing's rotten. Looks like those chandeliers are on some kind of pulley system. They lowered him down to clean him. Hey, there's some kind of mechanism over there. Hmm. Alright, let's jump onto this one. They've made like a little kind of platform, so <coughs> might as well make use of it. <laughs> there's no way he was gonna get any kind of push from that chandelier. I have an idea. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that is a pretty slick system, I have to say. Okay, let's get back on. Oh, you're crazy. Watch it. That thing's coming out of the ceiling. <laughs> I have no doubt that we'll eventually yeah. fall. This looks a bit. Okay, I have to go this way. No? So what's the point of pulling this down? Oh, I did make it. Okay. Alright, here we go. Do you move that easily enough? Come on. The two of them together will get that beam easy. Got it. There. I'm in. Be right down. 